So yeah, I'm going to go through a couple of these places because I do know there is some loot that I want. What are you freaking uh, freaking out about? I have no idea what this guy is all. Oh, like I know I saw someone, so I guess I stood in the light. Let me actually increase the gamma slightly. It's a bit dark for me. I think 1.4 should be fine. Oh, damn it. You are being rather close to me. <clears throat> okay, well, you are being annoying. Wow. Why don't you just, you know, go somewhere else? Oh, there's the ladder. I had some trouble finding the ladder and that's why I got, like, kind of caught. I think he doesn't see me right now, though. It's rather annoying that he did, though. <clears throat> Because now it will take ages before this guy decides to walk back over there. I mean, what did I do to you? Yeah, sure, maybe I might, I might be like sneaking in the shadows, but it doesn't make me like a murderer or a thief. I am a thief though, so I guess your reaction isn't that, uh, that much off. <clears throat> but I still think... You could have probably, like, acted a bit nicer towards me. Are you actually going to move, or are you just going hey, to stand there? Come out and show yourself. I suppose I'll try it. Ha, found you. Well, damn it. Oh, come on, you coward. Just go away. I know he went this way. I sure did. Actually, he's moving away. Well, I kind of did already. But whatever. Let's see. While he's up there, I'm just going to quickly open this chest. That's the first lock. Well, the first tumbler, anyway. <clears throat> okay, and that's the second one. And now we the third one. Let's get this over with. Are you actually coming here, or are you just walking around? Damn it. Damn it, I missed it. There we go. It was nothing, absolutely nothing. Nothing of importance to you, at the very least. But I do want that arrow. The game is being a bit picky about... Uh, about, uh, like, uh, the... All right, let's finish this. Come on, you coward. Huh. You go. And darkness. Darkness falls, thank God. You have been a particularly annoying customer today. I don't really enjoy it dealing with you all that much, honestly. But I will take all of your goods. Oh, damn it. We shouldn't jump like that, we should climb onto this uh, table like that. So, I'm not going to read everything, but uh, when we encounter like stuff like this, I'm just going to let you see it. And then if, if you want to read it, you can pause. Well, since you have been such an annoying customer today, I'm not going to even knock you out. You will not get your daily nap, or, well, nightly nap. I'm simply going to climb out of here, because you are otherwise going to end up killing me, and I most definitely do not want that. Let's hope that my luck is a bit better in the future. I should probably start, like, saving. Let's actually do that, because otherwise... 
Otherwise, we are going to have some trouble. I'm probably going to end up saving quite a lot. Because I do dumb stuff, like this. <laughs> I knew that would happen. I should probably uh, learn to do quick saving and quick loading. But yeah, I'm not I'm not all that great at this game. Uh, well, up, uh, stupid, stupid me. I'm not, I don't want to like lose that much health. Okay, there we go. Let's uh, climb onto this roof finally. There we go. That was a bit better. So this will give us an alternate route. And we will also get to some loot from here. It seems the guard has sort of stopped. So that's good. Yeah, he's back to patrolling. We won't bother him tonight because he is he's already rather bothersome. But what I will do... Okay, he's back there, so what I should do now is I should pick this up and, like, yeah, that, that's okay. And get this gold from here. So yeah, I have explored this first area here quite uh, rather thoroughly. There is some stuff that I haven't found, like, a way to get that goblet there. <clears throat> it's possible that I simply haven't figured some th simple thing out. But I haven't figured out how to, uh, like, reliably get to it. I think I could, like, jump there, but I don't think that would be reliable enough. And now, the next problem. This guy is particularly annoying. For some reason, knocking him out is always such a chore. And of course, when I say that, it's super easy. Well, thank you for actually not being problematic this time. This area in particular is just something super annoying. So yeah, this is another one of those scrolls that I'm not going to read. Uh, it talks about the goblet back there. Some of this stuff is just hints, so that you can find more loot. But if you want to read it, you, you can do it. Just pause. This is also similar stuff. Uh, this is lore, so I, I, I don't really care. Uh, this is like uh, mysteries and stories, tales. There is simply too much stuff here. Okay, well, that's that. I'm also going to take this health potion to get more health. And now, this is why this place is so annoying. This door is locked, and that guy there keeps, like, looking around all the time. So, actually lockpicking this one is super annoying. And this is not the easiest lock ever. It's actually, con it has four tumblers. So it takes four attempts, minimum. And I tend to screw this up often. Oh, three actually. Yeah, it's a... Uh, it, the... Another door here has four, but this is not it. Okay, let's uh, take care of that uh, light up there. I did, but you would know that, know that because you're, you're back there and I'm here. So you can take... Water arrows is also one thing that uh, Thief originally did. So you can uh, you can take out uh, lights, certain lights, not these lights. These lights are electronic. Oh, electric. And they, they cannot be taken out using water arrows. <clears throat> also, thank you for the key, Mr. Captain. I do appreciate your help in the matter. Now we just need to wait until he gets back and then we can access his quarters and get all of the stuff in there. 
I bet you did. But I got the key, so now you don't have it anymore. <clears throat> A lot of this game is just, uh, well, this kind of stuff. Also, I, I should probably save. That way I will avoid all this stupidity if I have to, well, if I die or get caught here. <clears throat> Especially this area is very bad to get caught in. Also, I should probably not knock that out. Okay, goodbye. I will be going upstairs. Out of my way. Ugh. Yes, sir. <sighs> what was that? I have no idea what it might have been, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to just access your your room quickly. Also, I'm going to turn out the lights. I don't need those lights, and I think it's better that I get to do all of my stuff in peace. So I got some stuff, flash bombs, etc. Also a couple of mines. Okay, let's see if I can access this. Awesome. So our, our friend here has plenty of documents. Once again, going to let you read this stuff. Rolf's letter. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is uh, typical stuff. A sergeant complains about his position and is just generally annoying. Oh, these are cases. Father Miris Hanno. Okay, so this is the guy that uh, recently died, and this is uh, also the this is a priest at Saint Isa's. They are going to have the requiem. Uh, requiem. I I seriously I have no idea how to pronounce that word. Requiem. Well, I guess that's close close enough. The ser uh, service for this guy. So this guy died. They don't know how how he died though. And they assume it's going it's uh, natural causes. And this guy is our op uh, like uh, optional objective. It's Mr. Allen Austin. Uh last known sighting was by customers at his vegetable shop, however, an investigation of the premises found nothing out of ordinary. Uh, case will remain open, pending further inquiries. And Bowen. So this is our case file. Uh, only known identifying mark is a scar on the right hand, running from the second knuckle down the wrist. Bowen has no known means of support outside of occasional work hauling Gargo from ships at port, and fits the description of a suspicious character Seen loitering around the Carlton Manor. Further surveillance is recommended. I I guess they are on to us. I don't think they know that we they are on to me. Also, I'll be quickly going up here. I technically shouldn't have known about this without reading a certain document, but I will show that to you. Yeah, shortly. I just found it a little bit more... Uh, well, I found it a little bit better to ac uh, access this place from there, rather than from here, where, where you're uh, like supposed to enter. So there's this book here, and this is basically just one of these guys complaining that they got caught gambling up there. And there's someone took the ladder. So, I got all of their stuff, all their valuables. Let's also check these chests. I can't seem to be op able to open this. There we go. Okay, let's check if these guys have anything in here that is even remotely interesting. This chest in particular seems to only have boots. 
How about this one? Oh, this one is locked more tighter. Oh, we do have something here. Broadhead arrows. Not that we are going to use them a whole lot, though. 